Hey everyone, so I've been playing the Psycho Frontier for a while now, and I've been making videos on it, and this is going to be a video in between the uh, weapon guides, because I'm currently trying to get footage for the Manticore, but I wanted to talk to you guys about, you know, the problems I've been seeing in uh, the Psycho Frontier, and some solutions to them possibly. So, my current issue with the game is grenades. I'm sure you've heard your friends complain about them, I'm sure you've heard people on the forums complaining about them, but I agree. Um, and most, and here's why. Most games, you typically, like Call of Duty for example, you will have the pin, you'll pull the pin, and then you'll start to hold it back, and it'll cook while it's in your hand. Most grenades have around a 3 to 5 second fuse time, and then you'll throw the grenade. And the cooking is there for you to, for you to have a skill ceiling, because you can cook it and have it blow up at a certain period of time, depending on where the enemies are. Like, if somebody's in a room just, just past the door, you can cook your frag grenade and throw it in the door, and it'll blow up just as it gets past the door if you time it right. You know what I'm saying? Not only that, but something unique that the uh, Call of Duty has that the Psycho Frontier should have, if they implement this, is on the crosshair, whenever you're cooking your frag grenades in Call of Duty, you'll see, like, your uh, crosshair, like blinking it'll like pulse every second letting you know how many how much time is left on the grenade so one big problem i think they should fix is the fact that like in the psycho frontier you don't even pull a pin on the, on the grenade but the, in the art there's a pin there so if they're going for this futuristic thing where like you don't need to pull a pin then why is the art there for the pin you know what i'm saying like you can throw in you can throw a grenade so fast like they added the 1.8 second delay in between grenades and I don't want them to nerf the damage of grenades. I don't think that's where they should go. I want them to nerf the the ability and how much you can spam them. That's what I think needs to be nerfed. I don't want them to nerf the damage of grenades, because grenades still need to be damaging and powerful. If they do decide to do something with the damage, I want them to instead change the damage to armor damage. So that way if you keep getting hit with grenades, your armor will eventually become shredded and you'll take the additional damage because you're now right, technically not wearing any armor anymore. That's what I think they should do if they want to go the damage route. But my uh, solution is I want to see them add in to where you actually pull the pin on the grenade and have uh, and increase the fuse time so that way you can actually cook the grenades and have some skill to them. And then keep that additional delay in between grenades because that way you can't spam them. It's more of a skill, a skill ceiling. Um... It's just my two cents. It's what I the thought I had in my mind. Um, please let me know in the comments below if you think differently or have other like solutions. I want this to be like you know constructive criticism. I don't want this to be just a big old complaining session. I want us to provide solutions for the devs that could help balance the grenades because I know a lot of people have been complaining about. It. I see it on the Discord. I see it on forums. People aren't happy about how the grenades work in this game. And I'm trying to come up with solutions myself, because I'm not happy about them either. You get the idea. But let me guys know if you want to see more of this style content where I discuss, like, issues or, like, things I like about the game, or maybe even possible ideas of, like, guns or weapons or something like that for, like, for the game, since, you know, I have some ideas. But that's all I had to say. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. If you guys wouldn't mind, consider liking and subscribing. I noticed that 80% of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed, so if you could, I would appreciate it if you're enjoying the content. Down in the description, I'll also have a link for my Discord that I just made. If you guys don't mind checking that out and joining up and hanging out with me, we can also have a discussion in there, if you wouldn't mind. And at the top right, I'll have a video for the scare that I just put out a while ago. Have a good day.